It was always a strange bedfellow for liberal Western countries. But now there are further signs Saudi Arabia is drifting from patron to pariah in its relationship with the EU. After a series of terror attacks across Europe in recent years, the EU is taking action against countries it says have lax controls on money laundering and the financing of terror groups. Our list of high-risk third countries is a warning and guidance to the banking and financial sector that they must use extra caution when dealing with transactions involving those countries. That's why Saudi Arabia has been added to a dirty money blacklist. It commits EU member states to heightened monitoring of financial transactions within the kingdom. The decision has far-reaching implications. It will likely affect investment from EU-related financial institutions, which the Saudi Crown Prince has worked hard to attract. And that could be a blow to Mohammed bin Salman's Vision 2030 initiative aimed at diversifying the economy and reducing Riyadh's dependence on oil. Diplomatic relations with EU countries could also take a hit. The blacklist is an indication the European Commission believes Saudi nationals and financial institutions are likely implicated in money laundering and financing terrorism. And the blacklist is expected to exact a financial toll. Saudi citizens abroad comprise the second largest market for remittances in the world. $37 billion was sent back to Saudi Arabia from its citizens living overseas in 2017. Now, any Saudi national using EU banks will be subject to greater scrutiny and their wire transfers home could be delayed or even blocked. Saudi Arabia isn't the only country being added to the list. Panama and Libya are among the newcomers. But the kingdom is by far the most controversial as Riyadh is a major importer of goods and weapons from the EU. Member states will still have to adopt the list, but the EU's justice commissioner says she's confident it will be. The Saudi government in a statement published by the state press agency says it regrets the decision and that its commitment to combating money laundering and the financing of terrorism is a strategic priority. The results are 56 yeas and 41 nays. The resolution is agreed to as amended. But after the U.S. Congress voted to withdraw support for the Saudi-led war in Yemen, combined with the global uproar over Riyadh's involvement in the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi last year, Saudi Arabia's relations with its traditional Western allies is under pressure. So I think, the, the, as Senator Corker has said himself, um, support for the Saudis is cratering right now in Congress. Remember, that bombing campaign and our participation in it is predicated on our belief that the Saudis are telling us the truth, that they are not intentionally trying to kill civilians. Given the fact that it is likely they are not telling us the truth about what happened to Jamal Khashoggi, why would we believe them that they are not intentionally hitting civilians inside Yemen? All that, along with the EU blacklist, threatens Riyadh's long-held role as the West's number one strategic partner in the Arab world. Randolph Nogle, The Newsmakers.